next several videos, we'll be taking a look at the new Z-Spheres available in ZBrush 3.5. We will also be reviewing many of the Z-Sketch features, as well as new skinning methods. So let's jump right in and get started with sketching Z-Spheres. When sketching Z-Spheres, you can start with a single Z-Sphere, or many, but for right now we'll just start with a single Z-Sphere. To enter sketch mode, all you need to do is press Shift-A. You will then see the two tones of the Z-Sphere turn to a solid color. When sketching with Z-Spheres, you can use any material, but you'll notice that there's a few new sketch materials that have been added to the material palette. I'll switch to one of those now. Because we're in sketch mode, all we need to do is simply click and draw on the model to add more Z-Spheres. We can hold down the Shift key and draw to smooth things back a bit. I can then let go of the Shift key and continue adding Z-Spheres to the model. You can repeat this process several times to add Z-Spheres and then hold Shift to refine. Once you've added some Z-Spheres to the canvas, you can always click the Move icon up at the top left hand side of your screen to move Z-Spheres around. When I'm done moving the Z-Spheres I want, I'll then click back on Draw. I can then hold down the Alt key and click and draw on Z-Spheres to delete them. I can then let go of Alt and continue drawing Z-Spheres onto my model. So to review, simply click to draw in new Z-Spheres. Hold down the Shift key while drawing to smooth those Z-Spheres out. You can click the Move icon to move those Z-Spheres around. And then while in Draw, you can hold down the Alt key to delete those Z-Spheres.